everyone has their favorite Kingdom Hearts character. We decided as the lead up to Kingdom Hearts 3 to analyze each major character in the series, their flaws, their positives, and everything in between. Today, we'll be discussing Kyrie. Josue, take it away. Okay, so just like Sora, we saw Kyrie grow up throughout this entire series. We also saw Kyrie as a four year old, but we saw her in Hollow Bastion with her grandma. Her grandma was kind of cute. <laughs> Anyways. That's the end of the analysis, guys. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but, no, let's fast forward. So, Kyrie kind of started off in the series as a uh, damsel in distress. I mean, typical, I don't know, Disney story. It's like a typical female in video games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we did see her evolve. She started off as a damsel in distress mm-hmm. in Kingdom Hearts 1 completely. Mm-hmm. Kingdom Hearts 2, kind of again. She, it wasn't more so more so much Denzel in distress. Actually, no, it kind of was, yeah. Sire, yeah, it was. After I saw took her, yeah, never mind. Then, pff, yeah, yeah, she was kind of a Denzel in distress yeah, again. Was, yeah, but here was, But here we go, though, because we, we this is the evolution of the series, is that we are now seeing her from that role which she started off on. And I'm not sure if this is a whole, you know, fem, feminism thing, where, you know, like, we're just seeing the wave of woman empowerment, which is amazing, mm-hmm. but... It, it, it's something that it's it really is amazing to see that we saw this woman who kind of started off the series um kind of helpless it which is weird to say that because she is one of the most powerful beings in this universe literally a princess of heart <laughs> she's a princess of heart which means that she has no darkness in her which literally means she has an um, unlimited supply of light <laughs> yes which means that she has the power to turn a heartless back into a somebody like we saw with Sora. She probably could go to any Heartless and in this that. universe and literally go, yo, you're back, bah. and you're back, bah. and you're good, bah. you're human. Like, like, she is one of the most powerful human beings in this universe because uh-huh. she is a princess of heart. Oh, yeah. But I feel like, for me, even though, like, we see her getting better, it should have happened so much long ago, man. I feel like this new, like, her becoming a Keyblade wielder this late in the game is so disrespectful. It's well, so it, late. It wasn't this late. It was pretty late. She was, We're she the was. the last game of the Xehanort Saga. I personally feel like Kyrie still is not well utilized. Because now, the most we're going to see her using Keyblade is in Cage 3. She has used in Cage 2, but the most we're going to see is in Cage 3. The end of the Xehanort Saga. And I feel like the entire series has just been either her needing help or her just confronting and helping Lee, which is such a waste of a character. It feels like like a Sakura in like a Naruto. It just feels like somebody who had potential and they hint at the potential and then it never came to fruition until the very end. And even then it didn't feel good. It felt bittersweet. I feel like she's not that strong of a character. It It bothers me. It's it hel- the the connections between Kingdom Hearts and Naruto are hilarious right it now. Really is. And, and another thing, real quick, I hope you don't mind me cutting in. Another thing, Sora, Riku, and Kairi, all three of them, two or three of those characters are insanely like well into the story. Like Sora's the main character. Riku has been through so much. And then why is Kairi, the only girl in the group, so underutilized? Aqua is like what Kairi. Should have been, in my opinion, somebody who has huge impact on the story. It, it's it's the relation is so uh, hilarious, actually, between uh, that trio, the uh, Terra, Aqua, and Vences. Mm-hmm. That Aqua is really the most important character. hundred percent, she saved them all. Yeah, the, well, the one, not all. Of you know, them. the one female, which yeah. is amazing. Like no one, no one has ever complained. Mm-mm. Yeah, and it's just like. You know, um, again, I'm not sure if this is a product of the time that Kingdom Hearts first came out, because um, you know it, it isn't just Kingdom Hearts. No, this yeah. is a, this, this is an issue between between the in entire all era. media in all media. Now we're finally seeing an era where like they're nah, finally doing it. Woman can do stuff too, <laughs> which is the case. No, exactly. Um, you know, and Kyrie has more reason than any to really be that one person to really make stuff happen because oh. she is the princess of heart 100 i do have good faith that the team is gonna make her more important three 
I feel like she's gonna do something with three, which makes it so great. It just sucks that it took this long. We are many years into this game, and it took this long for her to finally be like, ooh, she's a crucial part now. Well, let's also look at it, though, from this perspective, from the story perspective, because, so this is a, so we're back into Destiny, Destiny Islands, Kingdom Hearts 1. Sora, Riku, Kairi, three people that want to just go on this adventure. Mm -hmm. Don't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. Sora really didn't know what's going on. <laughs> Eddie was lost. Yeah, he was lost. But also think about Kyrie as well, because I can imagine that she I must have been scared. She just did, she was losing herself. She was lost. She, her she didn't. Let's just we're, 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 we're talking. We're discussing purely plot now. But Kyrie, I'm sure didn't want to lose her heart. But yeah. like, it just ended up happening. And by the time she wakes up, the. The she Kyrie was MIA, like literally mentally MIA. She lost herself in the beginning of the game, when when she just sees Sora, right? Then she's gone. Mm -hmm. the The next minute she's conscious. The next minute she was literally sleeping pretty much. From that moment until she wakes up and she sees Sora dead. That has to be a shocker. Like, God. Whoa, whoa, what happened? Yeah, yeah. What is going whoa. on? A lot has happened. Where are we? And it's a talking dog and a talking <laughs> dog. <laughs> like, what? Where's Riku? Where am I? She wakes up in another world. Mm -hmm. And a lot has happened. It's not like Sora. Well, Sora woke up, like, maybe, like, I don't know, less than a day later. Mm -hmm. Kyrie woke up, like, probably, like, a month or two after. I don't know. I don't know what the time is in... I don't know what the time is in Kingdom Hearts, mm. but you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. Then, Chain of Memories. She has to spend all Chain of Memories, pretty much a year. One, because Chain of Memories, uh, everyone forgot about Sora. So she had to, she literally forgot that Sora existed. And she had to go back to her regular life, as if Kingdom Hearts 1 never like happened. happened. at all. Yeah. So Kingdom Hearts 1 never happened to Kyrie, pretty much. Oh, because yeah. she was even there. Mm -hmm. So just it was just one day she woke up, bam, Sora's dead. It kind of felt like it kind of felt like all a bad dream at that point. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was just like, why is this all this happening to me? So, so Kyrie has to go through all of this, then just go back to Destiny Islands, go back to school for selfie, Waka, doing, and see this. Doing trigonometry. Yeah, like 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 literally having to pretend that damn like that really didn't just happen, <laughs> but like. Not just that, she forgot Sora exists. No, yeah. 100%. So she only remembers Riku. Yeah. Because when Sora was going through the whole chain. Yeah, and she doesn't even know where Riku is. Because oh, Riku's yeah. gone. Riku doesn't go to school anymore. Not he yet. dropped out. He got the GED. <laughs> <laughs> Homie secured the bag and yeah. <laughs> So is this Kyrie going to school playing, I don't know, some blitz ball with, <laughs> with Waka? I don't know what's going on. Then just, just again, just again to get wrapped into this. But it's just dumb to me that, like, I understand that, like, she went through a hard time. It's a very, like, tough, like, journey she had to get to that point. But it's just dumb to me because it's like, oh, like, you went through all this? Back to the real world. We won't see your character for a while. Let's throw yeah. her in the background. No, no, I'm not, that's, that's completely up to the right. That's the, that's the writer's fault. No, yeah. Don't, I, like, know. why leave her in the background? Yeah. Why do that? Kingdom Hearts 2, she could have definitely been utilized yeah, more. 100%. But, again, it's just... She definitely this, has been through a lot. Yeah. This is a character that didn't ask for any of this. She just wanted to go to other worlds. And she got the worst end of the stick, in my opinion. And she never confronted the Heartless. She never, like, had, like, a key. Blade. Yeah. It's okay, it's two. Yeah, 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 yeah. She yeah, didn't yeah, yeah. anybody for any of this to happen. Yeah. This is literally a girl that, like, she didn't ask to be a Princess of Heart. But because she is a Princess of Heart, she got wrapped into this. Oh, yeah. And now she, she has to go through all Kingdom Hearts 1. She just woke up, bam, Sora's dead. Then she has to go back to school and like pretend it didn't happen just for her to get wrapped into this again because Sora is a thing. So then she has to go, she has to be a prisoner again so that way Sora can get wrapped into this mm -hmm. even more. Mm -hmm. Then she gets a Keyblade. But what? She's like, I didn't add, this is literally so much. It's just like they kind of forced on her at that point, to be honest. It's like, you're in this now, whether you like it or not. You have to fight this master, say, in order to deal with it. Yeah. It's not the best way they could have done the character. And I think they realize it too late. Because I think Namora now knows it. I think he's realizing, like, oh, I did not do a good job on this character. Because if he knew what he knows now, 
back then, I feel like he could have done a lot more Kyrie. Could make it make, make, maybe make her playable with a side journey or something. And I don't know, I don't know what is gonna happen to her character in Kingdom Hearts Three. I don't know if we're gonna, I don't even know if she's gonna be playable. If she's playable, um, it's a wrap. that'd be nuts. I'll be like, whoa, okay, doing <laughs> let's, let's go. We this long overdue, baby. But, but this is but this is also a journey for her because the All fact right. that the fact that she we're considering her being playable. Imagine playing Kingdom Hearts one. Imagine playing Kingdom Hearts one mm -hmm. again for the when you were five years old. Yeah. There, there's no way you would have looked at Kyrie be like, yeah, one day I'm play as her. <laughs> Never. No, even if someone told you that's playable in KH one, you're not gonna believe it. like. There's no way I'm playing as Kyrie in Cage One. VQ makes sense. No, oh, yeah. Kyrie, Kyrie? Is literally a corpse through majority yeah. of the game. And and now we're at that point where like, yo, I think Kyrie could actually be playable. And if I told my if I told my five year old self that, my character probably would be, be like, shut up, oh. yeah, <laughs> dog, like, goofy, yo. maybe. But then, but then, but I'll say like, yo, no, 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 no. Kyrie really is at that point where she actually has a chance. And like, I'm really excited to see She's come what. She's a long way. She's come a long way. And I'm really excited to see what could happen to Kyrie yeah. in Kingdom Hearts 3 because there's a lot of there's a lot of open possibilities for her. It just and sucks knowing what she could have yeah. been. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot that could have been for her, but regardless, the sins have been corrected for her. And they're trying their best with the character. Yeah, now. and now what could happen to her in Kingdom Hearts 3 may end I'll up being you know the best. Oh, Sino 3 isn't the end. There's more to come. Oh, yeah. So hopefully they keep working on She's it. She's a new protagonist. She's a new what? Sora. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey. That's Kyrie in a nutshell, though. I feel like there's not much more to say about her, really. Yeah. So, keep watch for our next episode. We're moving on to the most tragic. The best character. No, the best character. The most tragic. And most tragic. Yeah. Roxas. Stay tuned. <sighs>